हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पीजी जी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन अवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड्स हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एज वेल इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी स्पीकिंग अबाउट अ केस वेयर सी 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 इज नॉट सो आइडियल वाई द सी 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 वेंट आउट एंड डज इट रियली अफेक्ट द आउटकम If you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel do subscribe now because you will be getting lot of updates even I stream live surgeries So here is a routine case a soft cataract cortical one and uh, plan is to implant a trifocal IOL in this case I usually use uh, 2% HPMC for doing capsular axis occasionally I use heavy dispersive agent like uh, hyaluronic by care group or viscoat to have a better control on the ccc i am sitting at the head end but i make a temporal incision in case of right eyes and nasal incision in case of left eye that was 2% hpmc and now i use the bent cystitome to do the capsular axis using the main incision here this bent cystitome avoids leakage of the viscoelastic from the main wound but there you can see that what happened after creating the initial flap as i was about to progress the same moment the patient moved the eye to per towards the opposite side and that resulted in extending that capsular axis towards the periphery there does this happen with you any time now this is the risk when you are operating on topical anesthesia where the patient's eye movement may affect capsular axis so here i have stopped i know that i have to pull it back now using a micro capsular axis forceps and it can be done easily but what this has done is that the capsular axis is little larger in this uh, area capsular axis was complete using the forceps it was easy not a difficult procedure to do because it was not extending into the zonules yet but still it was not exactly circular and it was slightly bigger at one point the cataract was grade 1 i could do primary chop and uh, remove the nuclear pieces easily so that was not something which was difficult uh, regular surgery there and the cortex removal as well now when we place the il in the bag in this case there will be a area where uh, it may not be covering the optic sometimes if you have a bigger il like a plate haptic il you can place the haptics in that area so it covers that area and uh, in this case it was a hydrophobic il with the modified j haptics so there will be a area which is uh, not covered by the capsular axis now i could have just rotated the il so that uh, the haptics lie in that area maybe partial cover will be there now does it really affect uh, the refractive status of the patient of course we want perfect rexis in each and every case but it's not possible in manual surgery but in my experience it doesn't affect the clinical outcomes what is your opinion do comment and can you avoid this completely in your cases so do suggest what you do thank you